Hey guys, what's up? I'm Isaac, and I suck at fishing. Today I am doing some trout fishing in Chaihuchi River. Right now I have some power bait tied on, and uh, let's see what happens. So how I have my rig tied up is I have a hook right here with two power bait eggs hooked on there. Uh, about seven or eight inches above. I have two split shots, casting it out there and letting it float down the current, giving it a hop every once in a while. Um, the river is getting higher as I stand here. So, um, you know, that's pretty interesting. So one of the biggest challenges when fishing where I'm currently fishing is the trees. To get good cast, I wanna be casting up there. But there are trees right here. Trout fishing. You're gonna to wanna to look for current. Um, what the trout like to do is they sit in the current facing upstream and they wait for eggs from other fish or insects or small bait fish to come floating down right into their mouths. The thing when you're fishing for trout is your weight's getting hung up on a rock or a tree. So a good way to prevent that from happening is to give your line a pop, give it a little twitch every once in a while just to keep it moving, keep it not hung up, you know? Or very line shy. So meaning that if they see your line, they're not gonna bite. They're pretty smart fish, even the stocked ones, they're typically smarter than most fish. So what you're gonna wanna do is use a lighter line. For example, I'm using six pound test. Um, a lot of people use like four. Um, the smaller or lower test, the harder it is to see. So the more likely you'll get bit. So when fishing with power bait, you can do three things when you're not getting bit. You can change the length between the weight and the hook. You can change the color or you can move locations. I'm moving right now because I spent a good 30, 45 minutes in that spot. So um, I tried changing the distance. I don't have any other colors. So I'm just gonna go to a different spot. Look at her. Now we're gonna let her go. We are in the water, very deep. Oh man, that fish took me two days to catch. I was here for about three hours yesterday catching, trying to catch it. Been uh, about 15 here today. I caught that on a little Wu Tungsten shaky head jig. Um, man, beautiful fish, man. So good. I just caught that bass right there off a of bed. There's two. Oh, oh, I'm gonna catch the other one. I just had the female. She was big. She is big, very big. <sighs> Popped off. That is, that's such a tragedy. Damn, I'm pissed. Wow, that was a good fish. Such a good fish. What a disappointment. Well, I um, was able to catch one decent fish today. Or really in the past few days. It's really the first fish I've caught. It was good, decent. Um, so there was, um, I haven't seen her yet. or up until the point where I caught that first bass, 
I hadn't seen the female. I assumed that that was the female. But then, out of nowhere, as I was recording her, or him, the big bass uh, lady came out of nowhere. So um, she did bite. Uh, it didn't take very long at all. I hooked her and we fought for a good 20 seconds. She's, I'd say she was about an eight pounder. Probably, yeah, seven and a half, maybe eight. It would be um, generous. But, um, so she came off. That was a disappointment. But, you see this sexy hat right here? Keep it real fishing. If you wanna go cop that or anything else off of the keepitrealclothing.com website, you can use the code FISHINGFREAK for 10% off and a free decal. If you wanna get some tungsten shaky heads or any tungsten weights, go to wootungsten.com and use the code WOOFRIENDS10 for 10% off. Thanks for watching.